Hi guys, Adam Matt Kohler for Full Time Devils. I'm at Sam Platz, just around the corner from Old Trafford. We're with Webby. Webby, 1-0, we got the result in the end, but what did you make of the performance? Uh, one point there, thinking about nine Ray Wilkins on the pitch. <laughs> uh, you could see we didn't want to, the manager didn't install that, like we didn't want to lose a game, but it uh, wasn't a great game. Palace had a few chances, had the one from Campbell, which yeah. he should have scored. Just think we looked a bit nervous. Uh, obviously, with the international break, it was very important that we got the three points today. Uh, to get a bit of momentum going. I mean, now we've got to, obviously, next week, leave it. So, uh, next week, obviously, no games because of England, and then, obviously, roll on the Arsenal game, but one of the main points about Van Persie, like, I read the, uh, in the Manchester United News column about how disappointed he was with Fergie leaving, so was I, so was a lot of Reds. But, Robin, you've lost two yards of pace as well. Rooney in midfield doesn't work, mate. He looked disinterested. Very deep today, wasn't it? Very deep, uh, Luke Shaw, tremendous, absolute tremendous. Uh, about three or four weeks ago, a lot of people on Twitter were slaughtering him. Those people have now gone and now singing his praises. Uh, so let's just build on it, mate. Obviously, it wasn't a great performance. Nervy, like I said, but three points. Um, Adnan Yanazai, he's, he's, he's finally got that run that I think he personally, personally think he needs um, to get better and continue, but his progression seems to have stagnated a little bit. It stopped, mate. It's not stagnated, it stopped. Uh, someone said to me in the ground today, well, he's only young, give him a chance. Ryan Giggs was ripping his full-backs apart two years younger than that. You know what I mean? And for me, he's gone backwards. He's not taking players on, which is his best position. Uh, for me, he's on the left. He's playing him on the right. He's doing nothing, mate. And it's sad to see, but like I said to you the other week, he needed that run of games. He's had that run of games and he's not contributed anything to the team. And obviously, it works well today by him coming off. Matt coming on, scoring the goal. But I'm going to go again. It was a game we couldn't lose. Uh, it wasn't a great United performance. I feel sorry for people who've come far and wide to watch that. I'm very disappointed, but it was all about three points. Talking about some other youngsters that, that impressed me today. Paddy McNair, he, he hasn't looked out of place whenever he's played. James Wilson, uh, he came on in the other end and he was excellent. Do you, do you think when we get players back and fit, that those two still deserve to be, to be playing in this team? McNair, 100%. Well, Curly, Laddie and Mo won't. It, they, they, like, they like oil riggers, they work one and have four off. <laughs> so McNair's going to... He looks. He didn't look out of place at City. Yeah. Now he's, he's in the Northern Ireland squad now. All right, got to keep him in. I'd, I'd, pl I'd, I'd play him every week. I was Obviously, he got injured after the Everton game and he was out and he missed it. But come on against City, he didn't put a foot wrong today. So you've got to keep him in because you can't rely on Smalling... Evans and Jones. They won't play 50 games between them this season and it, that's what's getting me as well. We spoke last night in the pub. Now the manager's come in. Now it's not rocket science. We lost three experienced stalwart defenders last year. Now we got away with it in this America tour but we, need, we needed two centre-halves and we never got them now. There'd be nothing better for me to see a young kid come through the reserves, come through the youth reserves and save us a load of money. Now, for me, he's got to stay in. Whether he does is another thing, but I really deep down hope for the Arsenal game, because Smalling will be back from suspension, Jones should be back, and Evans is quite close. But let's see if the manager's got the balls to keep the young kid in. I think he will. Excellent. Thank you, Webby.